This is Eugene Panrudkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion DV6-6000 series laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on this laptop. Now, before we get started, a little bit about the DV6. It's a model line that HP's been making for a while now, and it's gone through several design changes, and each design change has a different procedure. So we have a video for the previous series model. It's the DV6-3000, and I believe the DV6-4000 series is the same. And then there's also the DV6-1000 series. And once again, that will have a different, perhaps a different screen and also a different procedure. So uh, the DV6-6000 series, it came out in mid-2011. And the way you can tell it's a DV6-6000, it has this silver strip, silver perforated strip on the front, and the screen assembly sits slightly above the main assembly, whereas in the previous version, the screen assembly sat lower behind the main assembly. And also this has a dark metal uh, type brownish grayish color, and the previous version had a more of a golden metal color. All right, uh, before we do anything, we're going to remove the battery and show you where to find the model number. So we slide the lever on the bottom, remove the battery to keep the laptop safe while we're taking the screen apart. And the model number is usually right down here for this laptop. So let's see if we can get a good zoom. Uh, good focus. Let's see. Well, it doesn't have a focus today, but it's right here and it says DV6 6013CL. So anything that starts with 6000 is going to be this model. All right, so let's take this one apart and get the screen out. So, in order to get to the screen, you have to remove the bezel, which is the plastic piece that goes around the screen assembly. And in order to remove the bezel, you have to remove two screws at the bottom that are holding the bezel in, and they're hiding behind some rubber covers. Now, for the previous version, this was a lot harder to do, so you had to take half the laptop apart to get to these screws. But we we're lucky for this version, it's easily accessible, so the procedure is a lot easier for this version of the DV6 laptop. Okay, let's go over the tools we're going to need. We're going to need an electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size of the bit. As you saw already, I also have a smaller PH0 bit just in case. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. We also have a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck, and an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade, and that's to remove the rubber covers from the screws. So let's get started. Let's remove the rubber covers with our X-Acto blade, like so. And I like to put them on this bezel so I don't lose them. And there's one, and there's two. Once we do that, we can remove the two screws securing the bezel. One, and two. Now, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile, so when you're putting the laptop back together, I'm not confused which screw goes where. And we put it in this pile here. All right, now here it comes what's perhaps the hardest part of this job is snapping off the screen bezel. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. So what I like to do 
Let's put my fingers on the screen side and gently start lifting up the plastic bezel. Now this particular bezel has adhesive, so you hear the adhesive and then you hear the snapping sounds. So you slowly go around the screen and lift it up where it's easy, where it's hard you leave it alone for a time being and come back to it, like so. Also sometimes I find that like a guitar pick will help, but not in this case. This case it's relatively simple. So we go all the way around. On the bottom you have to use a little bit more pressure. And then there's a seam underneath that you have to get to. And it comes off. Here you can use a plastic spreading knife or something like that to open up the seam. I'm just going to use my fingernails. And the bezel comes off. Alright, we put the screen bezel to the side and look at the screen now. The screen is held to, to the screen assembly by metal brackets on the side and these metal brackets are attached to the screen by screws that are on the side. And we have to access these screws. Now it looks like these screws, yeah, we could probably use a pH 1 bit, maybe a pH 0, we don't know yet. So, but before we do anything, we need to access these screws, and for that we need to tilt the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly. And in order to do that, we remove two screws at the top here. One, and two. All right, so this allows us to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit. And it's probably enough, but just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to loosen these screws on the bottom that are holding brackets to the back of the screen assembly. That allows us to tilt it forward a little bit more, like so. And this lets us tilt it a little bit more, like so. And now we have access to all the screws. The one at the bottom is a little bit tight, but we can get there. So for this part, we're going to use the pH zero bit because these are small screws and start removing the screws on the bottom. And these are pretty small screws. One. Two, there's four screws on each side. Usually you can tell the, how well a laptop is constructed but how many screws are used to secure the screen to the screen assembly. This one has four, which is really good. So the less expensive laptops have two screws on each side. So that's one way to tell. Okay, this part may be a little bit more difficult because there's a magnet here, but I think we can get to it. One. Make sure you have the screen assembly tilted back a little bit when you're doing this so that the screen just doesn't fall forward on you when you're removed all the screws. Okay, so that's three. And that's four. All right, so the screen assembly is free from the metal mounting brackets. And we're slowly going to try to tilt the screen forward. Make sure there's nothing in the way, and everything looks good. All right, so there's, it's an LED screen, so there's only one connector going to an LED screen. And in this case, it's on the bottom left one, looking at the screen from the back, from the bottom. Right now, we're looking from the top, so it's top right, of course. Okay, so we lift up the tape. And next, we're going to slide the connector out. Sometimes there's also adhesive on the back of the video cable, which makes it more difficult. 
what we got. Okay, so we're gonna slide it out like so. Alright, now we briefly gonna go over this connector because when people do this job themselves, the biggest source of trouble they have is putting the connector back correctly. So what you want to do is slide the connector in and you'll feel a clicking sound. So I'm going to get a close-up. I have a good focus now. It took me a while. But we have it. Make sure your connector looks like this. There's no opening in the middle and it's firmly engaged and you don't see a seam in the middle. So when you have a proper connection, your connector should look like this. So pause the video right there and compare your connection to that. All right, so that's the most important part. We're putting it back together. Okay, so next let's take a look at the screen. Hopefully we can get a good focus. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen and connectors bottom left hand corner. As of mid 2011, this is the most common screen out there. So let's take a look at this part number. The, par the part that you need to know is N156B6. N156B6. That's what you need to look up. Now, most likely you will get a compatible screen that won't have this exact same part number, but the connector will be in the same place and everything else will be the same. Now, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen for the HP DV6, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation, and we also have a compatibility guarantee. That is, if the screen is not compatible, we will send you the right screen at no cost. Okay, and that's it. So, when you're ready to put the screen back in, make sure you put the connector in properly, put the screen in, attach the screws to the side, make sure, don't forget to tighten these bottom screws, then put these screws back in, snap the bezel on, put the two screws on the bezel, and put the rubber covers on them, and you're done. And that's it. My name is Eugene. Hanrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.